Well, hey there, everyone. Boy, it's a hot day here in Youngstown. I think it's about uh, 95 degrees outside. Uh, not getting too much work done on a day like today, but uh, have had some time to think about some of the uh, parts that we're gonna have to be making for the Todd engine and for the rolling mill to get this from where it's at now to actually operational. And uh, one of those parts is the mechanical packing that goes up here where the piston rod comes out of the head. And then it, there's another one at the other end, they're identical. Since this one has a tail rod, both sides are the, the same. So what that looks like is this. So these are the, uh, um, the actual packing and those two segments go together and then they fit in one of the grooves and then there's three sets of them here. And uh, so what you have is, this is called a tangential ring and when, when they're in place, there's a little bit of a gap right here. They're not up tight. There's a spring on here holding these together but normally there's a little bit of a gap and then as these wear, they suck in until they get to that point. And, and at that point, they're, uh, they're pretty much worn out. And then you have these radial rings, and all the radial rings do is they sit up here in place. Well, let's do it this way. They sit up here in place next to it so that when there's that little gap in there, there is something right up against the rod behind it that prevents the, uh, the steam from passing through. And they do it in three segments so steam coming in through here has to try to get around all of this to get um, to get around the packing and then if it does it's got another set of packing to get through and if it does that it's got a third set and then hopefully by then the steam has given up and doesn't come shooting out the uh, uh, out the packing out into the atmosphere now then you know each each set of packing then fits down into their little slot. These are one inch wide. This is a one inch slot there. Kind of fits in there fairly snug. Um, and then there's a top cap that goes on there. And then that forms the, uh, the mechanical packing for, for the high pressure side. So all of this stuff is completely worn out and has to be replaced. Fortunately, there is a company that still makes this stuff. Um, so uh, I have just sent them an inquiry on this size, which is a seven inch diameter. Uh, however, this uh, casting here, this set of castings, well, they're completely worn out and need to be remade. For one, let's see what I this over here it's missing this piece entirely it, it broke off and it's gone this piece had been welded back in place and instead of these being straight you know perfect uh, surface there well you can you can actually see the change in uh, you know what's worn here and not worn here so this will never seal steam will just shoot through here like it's not even there. So not even worth putting new packing in if I have to use these old ones. Which brings me to the next thing. So I know some of our people out there watching our videos may have machine shops or the capacity to make parts. And if you're out there watching this and you have the ability to make a set of these, or two sets actually, for us, um, and would like to volunteer your your uh, your time and efforts to do that. Uh, it would be a huge help to the project, um, given the mountain of stuff that we have to make and do for this. It would be be great if we could get a little bit of extra help from some of our supporters afar to uh, to make these. And it's basically five inches, so it would be. These are out of iron, but we can make it out of steel. It'd be basically like a piece of five inch plate. Now, 
we do have some five inch plate that I could burn out the uh, you know uh, the pieces the blanks to make them so if somebody wants to make them and needs material I could supply the material and it's basically you know we'll we'll surface this off flat back here and then put three sets of grooves in the uh, instead of milling all of this out basically just you know drill a put a recess in there enough for a socket head cap screw one on either side that would then screw into the other half there would be a couple of uh, locating pins in here there's four holes that pass through for the mounting studs it's actually pretty pretty simple if you had a machine shop and the ability to make parts of which I don't um, we have other all sorts of other machines but no real machine tools here so if you're if you're interested and you think you could uh, help us out making uh, making a couple sets of these and uh, you know the only thing real critical on that is that, is that these have to be pretty you know pretty close on uh, to one inch width and have to be very flat so you know as long as you could you could do that in here um, the rest of it outside doesn't really matter that's not the important part um, if you can help us out with that get in touch I will put my email address in the uh, in the description and send me an email um, and, and appreciate it if uh, if someone can help us out with this um, and as time goes on with this project and as we start putting this back together there are going to be um, other parts that need made for it not too many I mean remember this thing has been apart for 30 years or so and we did have a little bit of theft of a few parts some of some of which I had to buy back from the scrapyard um, that's a whole other story but uh, we've been pretty lucky into not losing anything that can't be replaced uh, so as we get further along into this once we get the concrete in place and we start putting it together we'll have some additional parts that need to be made that uh, if we could if we could get you know a few people with machine shops out there each one of them you know sending us a part for this it certainly helps us get this thing done and get the steam engine running and get the rolling mill running and um, actually you know making all this successful so all right everybody thanks a lot for the help and uh, i'll talk with you later